those who, who come for the first time since we reopened our church. You're very welcome. Hope you feel safe. Let's keep each other safe as well. So we, we stand on holy ground this morning. We inhabit this sacred space and we meet the God who would speak to our hearts, who would speak in word and who would feed us with the sacrament of his love. Let's call to mind our sinfulness first. Lord Jesus, you came that we may have life and have life to the full. Lord, have mercy. And you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. And you heal the wounds of sin and division among us. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. And grant that with you as our ruler and our guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks be also for God, for the glory of your name. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house, and his disciples came to him and said, Explain the parable about the darnel in the field to us. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of the kingdom. The darnel, the subjects of the evil one, the enemy who sowed them, the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, the reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt into fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offences and all who do evil and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtues will shine like the sun in the kingdom of her father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. gospel this morning in that explanation of the the wheat and the weeds been sown in the field suggests that we live in a world that has both good and evil in it we all know that and we all know that there's the same within ourselves but yet we have to remember that you and I are still a work in progress we're still on a journey. We are a pilgrim people. We're on a journey towards that beautiful state that is spoken about in the gospel. You know. The harvest. The harvest. Yeah. On this life on earth, we never reach the end of that journey. But we, nevertheless, journey. We are a pilgrim people. We know the goodness that is within us. And sometimes we're very much aware of the not so goodness within us. But we travel not alone, but together. That's why we come here this morning. Because we journey together. We are a pilgrim people together, a people of faith, journeying together. And we know and we have confidence in God's word that in our psalm this morning, the Lord's compassion always hastens to meet us. Because the God who gathers us is a God of compassion. And he's the one who's hastening to meet us. His mercy, his compassion, He's the one, like the father in the story of the prodigal son, he's the one who's out there looking. He's the one who rushes out to meet us. He's the one who makes the first move. He's the one who takes the initiative. He's the one who is full of mercy and compassion. So maybe the realization that we are still on a journey, that we are still on the way, would enable us to create a little space 
for God to complete the work that he's already started in us. A work that he's already started, a work that he's still doing today. So let's make a little space and allow him to do the work in your life and my life today. Let us allow him to do the work in the words that we would speak to each other today and the actions that we would take today. Let's allow him to be God. Let's allow him to extend his compassion, his mercy towards us. Let us now, in faith and in trust, bring all our needs to the Father in prayer this morning. Let's pray for each other that we may recognize the gifts and talents of each other, that we may extend goodness and compassion to each other through the words that we would speak today. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for all those who are lonely and anxious and afraid this morning, all those who are in pain through sickness in body, mind, or soul. Let us pray that they may get all the help and all the support and encouragement that they need. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray for all those who care for the sick, doctors and nurses and carers. Let us pray that they will be filled with compassion and have gentle hands. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray for all those in government that they will make wise decisions, that they will always speak words of truth that they will act with justice and respect the dignity of every man, woman and child from the first moment of conception to the moment of natural death. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray for our dead, especially those who have died recently and all those whose anniversaries occur at this time, all those who we remember here this morning, that they may enjoy the fullness of life in the kingdom of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray in silence for our own personal family. Father, we place our needs before you, confident in your love and mercy, for we ask them all through Christ our Lord. to you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice this morning may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, Lord, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts. And through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us all to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, of mercies and faithful God. 
for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and the saints, we exalt and bless your name and we pray the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified. God, who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed too is your Son present among us when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify the gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, who we led through his passion death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and forever among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Noel our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests and deacons and the entire people that you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of all our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them all the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Anne and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day. That with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look at the faith of the church gathered here today. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In coming for Holy Communion, I would ask you, those in the main body of the church, to come into the centre aisle, please, and return by the side aisles, please. Okay? So don't come up the side aisle, but come into the centre and return by the side aisles, please. If you come from the front seats first, please. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen.
Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Let us pray. We have consumed, Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Thank you for not joining in the singing. They say singing is dangerous, and yet it's in our DNA to want to sing. So my apologies that you, I can't uh, encourage you to join in the singing. We'll have Mass Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Our church will remain open now right through to 12 o'clock for private prayer as well. And uh, uh, all the information and news will be on, it's on our bulletin, which is on our website. Uh, there are several pages on the website. There's only two pages printed, uh, and there's a few hard copies at the door of the church, but that's only the first two pages. The rest of it is on the website. So please always check our website, and our services will continue to be uploaded onto our YouTube channel, so they'll be available in about an hour's time on us here this morning, so you can spread that word. And again, uh, a warm welcome to all those who come for the first time as we reopen and uh, let's keep each other safe and uh, a big thanks to all our stewards and all those who clean and sanitize our church and make this possible so a big thank you for all those wonderful volunteers the lord be with you Amen. now mighty god bless and protect you and keep you all safe today the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. go in peace glorifying the lord by your life Take my hands and make them as your own, and use them for your kingdom here on earth. Consecrate them to your care, anoint them for your service work. You may need your gospel to be sown. Take my hands they speak now for my heart and by their actions they will show their love guard them on their daily course be their strength and guiding force to ever serve the trinity above take my hands i give them to you lord prepare them for the service of your name open them to human need and by their love they'll sow your seed so all may know the love and hope you give 